Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and if you're a regular to this channel, you know I love sniffing down game development related deals, and today is no exception. We've got a set of deals coming to us from Humble, but this is not a Humble bundle. This is Humble software for sale, and about half of the things on sale in this uh, deal are um, of relevance to game developers, so I made this video. So what we're going to do, head on over here, you can see the Humble bundle page for the deal. Uh, there's quite a few pieces of software here, and we're just going to jump through, I'm going to highlight some of the key ones I think you're going to find the most interesting, starting with the two game engines that are featured. The first game engine is Leadworks or Leadworks? I'm not actually sure. I think it's Leadworks. I've actually featured this a dozen times on this channel in the past. I don't know. Lead or Leadworks. Uh, this one is uh, the professional edition of it. It's a C++ powered game engine with its own scripting language support. Uh, one of the catches with this game engine is that it um, there has been a new version slated as coming soon, but it's been slated as coming soon forever. So this is still the newest version as of right now. The other one is still quite in beta. Um, so here you can see you can use Visual Studio Code or Code Blocks to write games in pure C++. Um, several different features, plus as well there is integrated Lua script. So if you don't want to get into the C++ level stuff, uh, you can use Lua instead. Uh, it comes with a full level editor, all the features you would expect from a modern game engine. So that is the first one. That is uh, Letter Leadworks uh, for $25 Canadian. So this is the biggest sale on the, right now. That's 81% off. Uh, the other game engine in question is... the. Game Maker Studio. Now, I've actually only highlighted two of them, but a number of the Game Maker softwares are for sale. So the Mac version, the Windows version, the mobile version, etc. All of them are on sale, but the two I decided to focus on are games, um, Game Maker Studio 2 Creator, and which is 30 bucks Canadian, or Game Maker Studio 2 Desktop, which is $80 Canadian. And this is... Um, you know, cross-platform game engine available, as you can see, on, on Linux, Mac, and Windows. You probably know Game Maker Studio at this point in time. It's one of the longest-running 2D game engine uh, packages out there. Now, what you're probably wondering is, what is the difference? Why am I spending 80 bucks more for the uh, straight-up Windows or Mac version uh, versus the creator version? And if you're asking that question, the answer is here. So basically, you've got various different licenses, and the creator license is a year subscription where the other ones are you buy it and you get it forever um so it's a year subscription so it gives you 12 months of access and on top of that it's 12 months non-renewing um at the end of 12 months you will need to buy another license to continue or before your initial 12 month license elapses take advantage of a 30 percent discount on a desktop license if you are able to make it sell games on blah 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 it's worth noting creative license will not permit you uh, to change the splash screen of your project nor can you disable anonymous in-game analytics and you do not get access to the second compiler so that's the difference between uh, the creator and the developer license now it's a good way to get started and then if you ship a game or you're ready to ship a game uh, you can get take advantage of the 30 percent discount on a full-blown upgrade um, and that's basically the difference between the two uh, so you don't get the additional compiler and uh, you've got some features you can't change like the splash screen and the um, in-game analytics if you know you're going to be working with it uh, for a couple of years obviously after uh, three years time the developer license makes more sense than the creator edition all right so that's it for the game engines that are currently on sale i never did mention the price there so we're looking at about 30 percent off um, and then we've got black ink this is a digital painting package uh, this one is 35% off, available for, I guess that's Linux. I, I never know how to read it, because sometimes it says Linux, sometimes it shows the Steam platform, but Linux and Windows. And then we've got Vegas Pro Edit. Uh, Vegas Pro has been in previous Humble Bundles, so do be sure to check that out. But if you need a non-linear non video editing software, Vegas Pro is not a bad go. This used to be a Sony product. Uh, Vegas bought, or Magic bought Vegas Pro out, and now they make it themselves. Um, 15, I believe, is still the most current version. It's still a pricey piece of software, but it's 53% off. Now, again, Vegas, actually, I guess it was Vegas Pro 14 that was in the previous bundle. So uh, do keep an eye out for this one, though. Magic stuff like Vegas go on sale in Humble Bundles all the time. And the Humble Bundle deals are generally even better than the individual bundles you're seeing here. But if you're looking for a nonlinear editor right now, uh, this could be a good choice for you. So if you're doing some video editing. Uh, next up, we got Ritmic, Ritmic, Ritmic Live. Uh, be careful with this one. There are a number of different versions out there uh, with a number of different licenses. So, so I should be at Rhythmic Studio instead. It gets kind of confusing. So it's Rhythmic Studio you want to focus on. You see here it's uh, Steam slash Linux, uh, Mac, and Windows. It's a um, music generation uh, package. So let's see their actual description. Ba -ba -ba 
yeah, so it's it's synthesizers, sequencing, special effects, or sound effects, and so on. So if you are creating an audio pack, you could check this guy out. If you look at the original thing, there's a lot of uh, DLC for sale for it as well. Um, we've also got another uh, one out there called Acid Music Studio 10. This is also, um, it, it wasn't developed by Sony, but it was bought by Magix as well, uh, along with Vegas Pro. Uh, music editing package, the, their big thing was for um, their loops. That's where the acid loop part comes in. Uh, but on top of that, um, it's kind of similar to um, Audacity, uh, but with that loop focus for editing, you know, little segments of reusable sound that you kind of splice together to create music. Um, that's Acid Music Studio 10. Next up, and last of all, that I'm focusing on here anyways, is Silo. Now, Silo is a package that is tragic. I loved Silo when it was first released, um, and then the developer kind of took some time off. Um, and a year or two elapsed and then they started working on it again. The problem is in that year or two's time frame, Silo was kind of overtaken by Blender. Blender's modeling, polygonal modeling tools were never really that amazing. And Silo's were. As a low polygon modeler, this was an excellent package, especially for like the 200 bucks it cost at the time. But then they just kind of stopped and everybody else sort of caught up or got better or a better deal but they kind of had this perfect they were a really affordable software package with great modeling in a world where you would have to pay a thousand dollars for moto or three or four thousand dollars for max or maya this 200 dollars software actually could really kind of rival them in modeling ability but then again that two years happened blender got b mesh and the poly polygon tools got a lot better and then blender 2.8 happened and the user interface got a lot better made it a little harder to recommend silo however silo is still an excellent polygon modeling tool um, and it does more it's texturing and so on uh, uv map texturing and so on uh, but if you are looking for something and for some reason blender just isn't working for you this is one to definitely consider checking out on top of that there is a full functioning seven day trial so if you want to check out um silo it, the workflow might really work for you. It, it's it's very streamlined, and I actually was a huge fan of Silo. Again, if they didn't take that year or two off, I would have purchased it for sure. Uh, but Blender has come a long way now. I, love, I know a lot of people out there, Blender just isn't their thing. So you may be looking for an alternative, and Silo may be that alternative. Now, what you'll notice here, this one's strange, because it's actually marked as it's a key. All of these are keys for the most part. So uh, just to be aware of that most of the time, you're redeeming them over on Steam, if not all of the time. Um, but you see here, this one is available for Windows and Mac. Sorry, Linux users. And that is basically it. So we've got a number of other pieces of software that I didn't focus on. Also for sale, some benchmarking software and gameplay recording software. Um, SoundForge Audio Studio, another thing kind of like Audacity in scope. Uh, multiple resolution, um, sorry, multiple monitor support via Display Fusion. Uh, we've got the Face Rig software there. This one's really weird because there is a professional version of it and it's not the pro one. So this one is mostly just useful for creating like avatars for chat and so on. But there is, this is a facial capture and remapping to a polygonal modeling software. There is a version that is relevant for game developers if you want to embed this kind of thing in your game. Unfortunately, I don't think this one is it. So do be very careful. Don't think that you're getting full facial animation for game development um, that works in a game engine. Do be sure to double check that. We got some benchmarking software here, uh, 3D Mark, VR Mark, and PC Mark. Well, again, we saw all the various different versions of, of Game Maker Studio are all just under 30% off. We've got a number of different versions of Rhythmic and then some DLC and content packs for Rhythmic. Uh, more Rhythmic content. We got Vegas Movie Studio Pro. And then we're getting into just, I don't even know what Windscribe is, but it's on sale. And then a bunch of system level stuff. Almost always these are a bad idea to run on your computer, by the way. But uh, if you have experience with any of these, let me know. Uh, I, I'm always very wary of uh, these kind of softwares, to be honest. But um, yeah. Oh, and then we also got uh, Camera Bag Pro, which is, is from these guys as well. This is software. It's, it's not really relevant to game development. Uh, but it is quite possible, uh, quite popular, and there is also a free trial there. Uh, but this is more for photo editing adjustments. It's kind of like a very, 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 very easy mode version of Photoshop that's just, um, yeah. And, but not normally relevant to the kind of stuff that we're dealing with here. So anyways, that is it. That is the sale over on Humble. Let me know if any of these things really stand out to you. If you really highly recommend something on the list. Uh, le also let me know, Leadworks, Leadworks. Uh, I'm curious what, what your take on that one is. That's 
Also, and I'm not really sure how this works with Humble. It normally is a charity-based thing where you decide how your money is allocated. But if you purchase anything from the store using my link down below, I think I get a small commission. In which case, by the way, thank you very much for supporting the channel. But hopefully there's something here that you find interesting. Uh, and uh, if you've got a recommendation, once again, please let me know in the comments down below. All right, that's it. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.